throughout the years, I mean, there's been some plenty of drunk people and plenty of weird things. I mean, I had one lady that came out of a bar, and next thing I look in my mirror and she's not there. Where is she? I look around the back seat, she's crouching on the floor, taking a whiz on my floor. Just got me so ticked off. I gave her every word I knew, man. <laughs> so I never saw her again. You want to go where? Uh, 2132. My name is Mike McKillop. I am a taxi driver and owner of one cab. I started driving cab in 1971 for Checker Cab of Milwaukee. So now I've been driving 37 years. I own my own cab, so that gives me the freedom to work the hours I want to. And I enjoy driving very much. I want to have my cab different from other cabs to, first of all, make it flashier and more interesting. And um, because I've always been into cars, so I've always been into custom cars especially, so I, I put um, extra things on my car to make mine different. And the people like it, and I get people taking pictures all the time. So where are you flying to, Andrew? Uh, I'm going to New Orleans. Oh, a little warmer there, huh? Yeah. I haven't seen anybody that has their cab as fancy as mine. Uh, no, I've... I've never seen anything like this in a cab before. Man, I have to spend 12 hours a day in here, so it's yeah. like it's like I spend more hours here than at home. So I like to like, make it as nice as I can for myself. Yeah. It's definitely very entertaining. Okay, have a good trip, Andrew. Yeah, thanks a lot. You too. I've been robbed already. I've been robbed. I've been stuffed in the trunk. And so sure enough, I pull out a gun. One guy sticks a gun in the front seat on my side. The other guy's got one in my neck and the back. You know, and they want the money. And then they thought I had more money in the car. So they, they look it in the trunk. And they said, you get in the trunk. So I got the spare tire out because they couldn't fit in the trunk because I'm 6'3". And they, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the trunk, they said, and they shut the trunk, put it around inside the car for more money, and then started driving off, put me in the trunk. And I said, look, everybody knows I drive this cab. They're going to call the cops. The cab drivers are the first ones to come before the police. And they'll call the cops, and there'll be all kinds of going on. So they might as well let me out of here and let me drive it. So they let me out. And then one got out on like 3rd and North. The other one got out around there. So I just went out, went home, and had a beer. Called a day. I love driving. I drive until all the gasoline was gone in the world, but I've always loved driving since I was little. Do you have a car then I can um, maybe request you or no? Well, the company doesn't let you request personal cabs. I'm going to request you anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 65, I presume at least another five years. I'm in good health and my vision is good. But I'll be driving probably, you know, right, right till the end.